So hey you guys, I'm coming at you with another recipe and if you can tell by my ingredients, if you from the country girl, you know what I'm about to cook. Um, I'm gonna be making some buttermilk pies. Now you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, buttermilk pies, basically it's a custard pie. Um, not my favorite pies, but I had some of this extra buttermilk for my last recipe. So I figured why not use it to make some buttermilk pies. Hell, I could probably make some buttermilk biscuits. There's enough here. Just holding this, it's about four cups left. So anyway, very, very simple recipe. This is an old fashioned buttermilk pie. I'm gonna give you a heads up. I'm not gonna use nearly as much butter and sugar as you need for a traditional buttermilk pie. Um, I mean, it, it calls for a lot of butter and sugar, like literally a cup of butter and one and a half cups of sugar. So let's get into the ingredients, my measurements of what I'm gonna do. I have a lemon here, I have buttermilk. I'm gonna be putting a cup of each because I have two pie shells. This was looking a little pathetic, but we're gonna pray over that and still use her. One cup each, a squirt of lemon, a pinch of nutmeg, one teaspoon of vanilla, like I said, typically you do one cup of butter, but do you know what one cup of butter is? This is one cup of butter. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, we're gonna do one and a half sticks for each pie. Two tablespoons of flour, sugar. Typically you use one and a half. I've seen some recipes that call for two, two to three cups of sugar. No, no, we are not doing all that sugar. We're gonna do one cup of sugar, maybe one and, one and a quarter, okay? four eggs so eight eggs so i have my pie shells are going to be going in at 350 for 10 minutes take those out pour all this stuff in it it's going to bake bake at 350 for about 15 minutes and i'm going to turn that down to 300 and allow it to bake for another 40 minutes okay I'm gonna upload this anyway so I can show you something. I believe that my eggs have curdled. The butter was warm when it went in there. This is what happens when you do things out of order in, in a hairy. The butter was warm when it hit those eggs and it caused that. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this. Uh, it's gonna be an egg pie, all right? So do you see the difference? I allowed my butter to cool down with this one and was in a hairy with this one and it still happened. I forgot to pull a, put flour in this one. This is why it didn't rise up as much. It's very flat. Now this one's sitting over here looking very sad. That's basically an egg pie. I did put the flour in. You can see the difference. 